Hello everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. In the last session we made our way across the sea and uh, that was a very good update to the, the boat crossing section of the original. Very cool stuff. Uh, lots, of, lots of expansion there and the fight with Genova was very good. And now we have arrived in Costa del Sol and uh, that is pretty exciting. Because uh, from the trailers we've seen, we've seen some uh, very interesting stuff going on in Costa del Sol. Cloud uh, getting on his little, his little wheelie bike, riding around. Everyone in their in their outfits, their bikinis, and all that. So uh, I'm sure this will be a great time. In fact, speaking of the wheelie thing, is that one right there? I can has. Ooh, riding wheelies. Oh, they're actually called wheelies. Okay. Wheelies offer an easy way to explore the sights of Costa del Sol. Press R2 to accelerate, L2 to reverse, and steer as you would expect. Check in at the Tourist Information Center to receive rewards based on your total distance traveled. Okay. Well, this is nice. Oh, boy. Now, I mean, the key thing we need to check is, is Hojo at the beach? We are here. We are here. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy, it's so, it's so massive. Oh god. Okay. Okay. So we are, we've got an item shop here, and then we are heading here, is it? The tourist information center, and then our destination's up here. Cool, cool. Also, card carnival? Run wild. And pirate's rampage. Okay. Welcome. What have you got? Uh, nothing. Okay. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for having me. Oh, I recognize that. That is that is a perfect recreation of that building from the original. The massive slanted roof, the big Costa del Sol written on the side, the bridge leading over to it. I was like over there. I was like, I'm not sure if I 100% if this 100% looks the same, but this looks the same. This absolutely looks the same. Very nice. Very, very nice. Oh, it's good to be back. I really love Costa del Sol, although I love I'm, I love it more from FF14 than I do from FF7. Um, but, you know, it's, it's sort of the same place, so my love my love for it carries over. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's good to be here in the most, the most recent iteration of Costa del Sol. Hi. Hang loose. Want to know what Costa del Sol has to offer? Then we've got you covered. Uh, Main Street. You'll find a bevy of fantastic shops lining Main Street. If you plan to spend the day shopping, I'd recommend getting a wheelie. They're fun and convenient. What do you think I'm riding right now? <laughs> the beach. Our beach is host to a number of fun activities. Surf, scuba, and even chocoboat. But chilling with a cocktail is also a great option. Hotels in the area. While we have plenty of options, you can't go wrong with either the Royal Coast or Costa del Sol Resort. Unfortunately, according to my records, every hotel has looked solid today. Unless there's a cancellation, it'll be hard to find a room. Well, that's great. Restaurants? Bar del Sol is a hot spot that is not to be missed. Not only do they serve the best seafood around, but they also have amazing drinks that'll knock you off your Nice. Feet. I'm on the be seafood diet myself. Indulge. Seafood and eat it. Sick. Cool, cool. Reverse, reverse. Many who were in Judon for the inauguration decided to extend their vacation here. They filled up our most popular hotels. Makes I sense. I direct you to a recently opened establishment. Oh, yeah? But between you and me, you should steer clear of that place and its new owner. Why? Many who were in Judon for the inauguration. Oh, you're not going to tell me? Okay. I could direct, but between you and me, you should steer clear of that place and its new owner. We got a map of town. Hang loose! Today's your lucky day. There's a surefire way to make seeing the sights even more magical. By taking them in on a state-of-the-art wheelie. I'm on one, mate. Look if at me. Interested, Look at me. I'm riding a wheelie. Motion. What do you say? Just hop on one of these babies and ride around town at your leisure. That's it. 
no strings attached. You can even win fabulous prizes, depending on how far you travel. Yeah, yeah what's so the max about, one? Friend? That's Interested that's what's important. In a roll around Costa del Sol? <laughs> uh, four thousand meters, and I've traveled two hundred. Right. <laughs> well, I, I guess I've got enough for smelling salts. That's good. High potion headband and pedometer pin. What the fuck is a pedometer pin? Is that? I mean, a pedometer is like tracking your steps, right? Hmm. Don't know. Wasn't there a... Am I, am I misremembering? Or wasn't there a materia in Remake which tracks your steps and you had to get like 5,000 steps and then it turned into something else? Hmm. Now that's what I like to hear. And just like that, you're registered and ready to get rolling. Let's see what the odometer says, shall we? Congratulations! You've ridden enough to earn yourself a rookie license. The great thing about wheelies is how little Mako they use. They're super eco-friendly. So keep doing the planet a favor and enjoy your wheelie time. I. Um. Okay, we got a board here, but it says there's nothing on it. That would have green on it, right? If there was anything to do. Uh. What's that purple dot at the top of the screen? It's just what? The purple dot at the top of the screen is just moving around with the screen. <laughs> is that is that a bug? Hello? That has to be a bug, right? Uh, oh, okay, more things have appeared. This wasn't here before. The piano. I don't think any of these shops were either. Huh, okay. Uh, cards? Queen's Blood Vendor? Yes, please. Yes, please. Uh, was it down there? Yes. Eh. I hate to say this, but we're closed at the moment. Please come back later. Well, shit. Are you closed too? Welcome. No? Nice. High Seas Horror. Sholopod and Crown Lance. What do those do? What do those do? Bum, 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 bum. Raise the power of allied cards on affected tiles by four while this is in play. Huh, two costs for one power, but it gives a four power boost to the one above it. So it's essentially two costs for five power, and it takes over three tiles, including a diagonal. Which is pretty good. That is pretty good. It has to be said. Hmm. Oh, the jellyfish. I've had this played against me, haven't I? Yeah, this is the... Lower the power of allied and enemy cards on affected tiles by two. And you're, it's, it's pushing over towards the enemy. And it's like a huge coverage. You play this on the top lane, and it covers the middle and bottom lanes. That is an interesting one, for sure. But you have to specifically play it in the top lane, otherwise you're not getting the full value. Hmm. You want to play it like middle of the top lane as well, so it's definitely hitting the enemies. Interesting. I think we'll stick with our deck as it is for now. For stopping by. Stopping by. Oh yeah, look at all these Queen's Blood tables. We'll definitely be back here later, I'm sure. Now, she said it's not open yet, so is this a situation where I need to like make some main story progress to get stuff to open up? Because, like, there's nothing on the community board either. I mean, let me just double check, but I'm pretty sure it would have... Uh, I'm pretty sure it would have a green notice on it if it did, right? Whoa. Yeah, no, it's got nothing, okay. It would, it would show on the map. There wasn't a fucking... <sighs> Chocobo Rentals. There wasn't a, like... What's the word I'm looking for? Like, green and leafy area under this bridge in the original, was there? But that's not available at the moment either, so I'm guessing... Oh, hey! I'm guessing we need to make some main story progress before we do that. Shake it, shake it. Goosey, goosey. <laughs> Welcome to Costa del Sol. Have you tried this dance before? I didn't think myself a dancer, but I'm starting to see the appeal. 
Perhaps you might like to cut a rug with me sometime? No. <laughs> Perhaps I would not. What material have we got here? Okay, uh, we've got gravity material. Eh. HP absorption. Recover HP when unleashing an attack of the linked materials type. Okay. ATB boost. Doubles ATB when activated. Cannot be used continuously. Even at rank 5, even if you rank it up to all the way to rank 5, it still has a whole minute cooldown. And all you're doing is doubling it from 1 to 2, essentially. You're not going to use it in any other situation, I would imagine. So you're getting one extra ATB out of it once a minute, but like, I don't think that's worth a material slot. It's only a few hits to get another mater another ATB thing, right? Like, you don't. That's just not worth it, I don't think. Auto weapon ability. Allows an ally to automatically use weapon abilities when not actively controlled. Eh, it could be useful. <laughs> Wait, the two star, it only takes 200 AP, and then all it does is increase strength by two. What's the point? <laughs> What's the point? Just have it come max like some of the others. Uh, I don't think we'll do combat simulation at the I moment. I look forward to seeing what new discoveries you make in your travels. We'll get to that later. Okay, uh, so. We are looking to go here. Do we want to have an explore? You know what, let's have an explore later once things have opened up. It definitely seems like this is a progress the main story to make stuff open up situation. The Royal Coast. Just drive it on in there, mate. Just fucking whack that up the ramp. I'm terribly sorry, but... Yeah, okay, that's what we were told. Aha, the piano's here, but it's locked off. The hotel is preparing for the piano concert. Guests are not allowed at this time. All right. Again, I guess that'll be happening later, so let's not uh, let's not try and do too much. I feel like we'd be wasting our time until the plot has moved on and stuff actually opens up to us. Uh, what's this one? Oh, hello. How's it going? Why? Oh, she's got the she's got the little uh, she's got the little face over her head now. We can actually start building relationship. Hey, Want some ice cream to cool down? Or are you looking for something hot? Just admit it. You're obviously captivated by my bodacious beach body. You are a child. Uh, nope. Come on, can't you take a hint? Uh, yeah, obviously. Yeah, obviously. Wait, you are? I uh, didn't expect you to have an eye for beauty. <laughs> She can't don't see the sarcasm. That more than just a pretty face. Are you sure you don't want me on your team? I really do want you on my team, in fact. Vanishing act. I definitely want her on my team. When do we get her to join? I was I, I from the trailer I thought she was going to join in Junon after we saved her. And then she didn't, and then she stowed away on the boat, but she didn't join us, and now she's here and she's still not joining us. I was like, what? <laughs> when, when are you joining? When are you joining? It's got to be before the Gold Saucer, which is coming up in the near future, right? We've got... We'll have the Costa del Sol bit, and then we'll have Mount Corel. And then it's and then it's the Gold Saucer. And Kate Sith is going to join us at the Gold Saucer, so... Yuffie has to join before that, surely. So hopefully soon. Because I actually really enjoy Yuffie's character in this one. It's, it's crazy to me, because uh, I hated her in the original. <laughs> I really, really hated her. But then Intermission, they changed... They changed enough about her that I love her while still making sure the core of the character is the same. Like, she's certainly still Yuffie. She's still this, like, weird and, like, there's there's a little bit about her that is, like, too keen, too eager, the same way it was. But they've sanded off the annoying, irritating edge and, like, she hasn't stolen all that shit and everything, you know. And they've just made her a lot more, like, fun-loving and stuff. I, I just really appreciate the uh, this version of her. We're only accepting customers with prior reservations today. We well, hope to see you again soon. We are getting fucked by the hotels. Look for another hotel. Indeed. Tifa! Cloud, my bro! Johnny? Tifa! Oh boy. No way. What are you doing here? Johnny? <sighs> Whew. Hey guys! Looking good! <laughs> Same to you. So. What are, what you, are doing you doing here? Living the dream, building my legend. 
be your legend, the owner of huh? A bonafide hotel. Oh, not exactly a luxury one. What a coincidence. We were just looking for a place to stay. Do you oh, have God. any rooms? Do I have rooms? I got rooms for days. Enough rooms to make your head spin. <laughs> That's what happens when you have no guests. <laughs> This doesn't sound don't great. Be shy. We go way back, right? It's the least I can do. What kind of fucking dive has he got? All right, let's get you settled in. What kind of absolute hole? Now? Of course, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I love us all wearing these flowers. <laughs> Make sure you stick close. What a what a squad we are. Lost. What a what a fucking squad. Just bought the place, so I'm still doing repairs here. Can I not get my car? All things considered, it's looking pretty sweet. Now I got my hands on it, though. No! I was cursed with the unholy trinity. No job, no money, and worst of all, no girl. Son of a bitch. nobody with nothing. Walking garbage. But Mayor Capono believed in me. Said I was destined to make something of myself. So he sold me a hotel for cheap. How cheap, you ask? Half market price cheap. The dude even loaned me the money for it. Wow. There's no kinder man hey, in all the world. Order. You're probably getting scammed. <laughs> he sold your hotel that nobody wants to come to? And now you'll have to pay him back for the loan for it? Except you're not making any money off it because no one's coming to it? That sounds like a bad deal, my guy. Sounds like you may have got scammerood. Scammy whammied. Hey guys! <laughs> Behold my pride and joy, Johnny's Seaside Inn. Incredible sign. <sighs> Everyone's just like, huh? Wow. It's, uh. I don't know. Great. Yeah, it's great. I know, right? Maybe my eyes are failing me, <laughs> but I don't what see you. No seaside. It's not about the sights, but the smells. No, Aerith, what are you doing? Don't fucking copy him. Nose. Barrett. <laughs> well, come on in. Oh, I fucking love this cast, dude. Aerith just so innocently being like, oh, it's all about the smells? Oh. <laughs> it's just like trying to, trying to waft it in. Oh, my goodness. Secrets. New. Even Barrett gave it a go for fuck's sake, dude. Okay, let's get everyone checked in. Tifa, you'll be staying in room 101. And Eric, Cloud, you'll be staying in room 101. As for the dudes, you can all bunk together. All bunk together? Motherfucker, you said you had rooms for days. I'd never even think of charging you. Besides, oh, I gotta run. The mayor requires my assistance at this time. <laughs> oh, right. You're doing some fucking labor for him home. to try and pay him back. It's not like there's anyone else here anyway. Oh, you guys better not head to the beach looking like that. And don't even think of bringing those weapons with you. Oh, fate is so cruel depriving <laughs> me of Tifa and beachwear. Unlucky. Time for that shower? Yeah, I'd say so. See you guys soon. How soon is soon? Soon enough. No need to stick to a schedule here. Right? Right. You win. Think I'll go take a walk. Though, no, I should maybe get changed first. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Straight back into Still his sailor outfit. Good. Well, back in a bit. Adios, amigo. Party selection lost. Locked. Everyone left the party. Oh, Tifa. Damn it. We are about to get to the best part of the game, where Tifa and Aerith get in their bikinis. Hell yeah. Peak gaming has arrived. Thank God everywhere has these little sword holders. What would we do without them? Truly. Truly, what would we do without them? 
Don't take off the flower ring. It's such a good look. Beach boys. Anything to see up in this bitch? It don't look like it. <laughs> What's going on? Hey, I'll I'll come and help you in the shower. Uh, this looks like it'll collapse if I try to sit on it. Much less sleep. My bed has a free space. No, doesn't look like they're taking me up in the offer. The kind offer. What's a stand-up guy like you staying at a dump like this for? Shady guy. I could show you somewhere way better. Places no. to stay, right? Whole building's barely worth a hundred gil, and yet the owner's drowning in debt to keep it open. Takes a special kind of sucker to wind up in a mess like that, you know? Yeah, I mean, I figured Johnny was getting scammed. Unfortunate. His heart's in the right place. Okay, is stuff gonna be open up to us now? A real good selection today. Hang loose! Don't tell me you're alone. I'm alone. The beach is for partying. And one's not a party. It's a pity. But you don't have to be lonely any longer. We're bringing people together. Solo sun tanners like you. With a special event. Oh yeah? One we guarantee will spice up your social life. Find love. Costa Well-timed fireworks. So, will you be joining us or what? I'll pass. Aww. No, I'll go for it. Got plans with those guys. Later. Uh, uh, so, they're friends of yours? Then, can you do us a solid? Those roped people are a little different, right? And they've kind of been creeping the other guests out. I mean, look at their clothes. They kill the vibe. So, if you could get them out of here, we'd be so grateful. Speaking of clothes, they'll never let you on the beach looking like that. This is Costa del Sol. You gotta loosen up. Let it all out. And to help you with that, here's lucky ticket number seven. Take it. With that, you can play Pirate's Rampage and Card Carnival. But, not all by your lonesome. Your number's the same as I... someone else's. Ooh. Find them, and you've got yourself a team. Work together, master the games, and you'll earn companion cards. <laughs> you can turn those in for beachwear. Ah, I see. And once you're dressed to impress, you'll finally be ready to hit the beach. Right? Right. So right. let the fun begin. Best of luck finding that special someone. <laughs> Hang loose. Hang loose. <laughs> <laughs> sure, okay. Who's our special someone going to be? Is it going to be someone we know? Despite what the robed individual's presence suggests, beachwear is required to access the waterfront. Participate in Costa del Amor events to earn companion cards, then exchange them for more beach-appropriate ensembles and hit the sand. All right. So we can't go and immediately check if uh, if Hojo is at the beach or not. But we uh, we just got that we just got that video of him right hey, at the I end of the last session. Here. So. I don't know if he's going to be at the beach, because it looked like he was in Midgar, but... Howdy! Think of me not as a shop owner, but a material master. Anything for me? Barrier? Hello! Yes. Very good. Empowerment? Eh. Ba -ba -bum, bum -bum, bum -bum -bum. Do I care about empowerment? Hey, how about an orb or two? Not particularly. Not particularly, I think. So, what do you think? Alright, we definitely need to get barrier on. Uh, do we have space for barrier here? Oh, okay, we got two HP ups on us. We don't need 
It's nice to have another HP up going, but we don't need them both on Cloud. So let's give Cloud Barrier. Let's get that leveling. We definitely want to get that to three stars for the wall. Because Barrier is physical, right? Mana Ward is magical defense. And then Mana Wall is both, right? So we definitely want to get to the both. Uh... Oh god, I just realized how much AP it takes to get to level 2 of these. That's quite a lot. Do I care about the precision defense? It is pretty good. I should I should keep that. Uh anyone else got space for anything? You've got Vitality up. Should I keep you on Vitality up, or should I give you... Oh, wait, you've got Healing Materia. Does Aerith still have Healing Materia? No, we need to... I can't remember... I guess I gave it to you for the fight, because Aerith wasn't there. So I need to take that off you. I need to give Aerith back the Healing Materia. Uh, we've got AP up on Prayer. That's definitely good. Bum, bum, bum... Uh, but that means we can give you something, which is probably, I guess we give you the HP up? Unless there's anything else I want to give you. Uh... Nah, yeah, let's give you the HP up. Everyone's going to want an HP up by the end. Uh, Aerith, you're good. You've got, you got your MP up. And Red. Red's got an HP up. Red's got an MP up. Do, do, do. What do we want to give Red? Fortification? Wonder how long that lasts for. Okay, that would actually be good if we could get that to rank three. Although I'm just noticing how high, <laughs> how uh, how high it takes to get to rank two. But if we could get elemental to rank three, that'd be sick. If we could absorb elemental damage taken, that'd be so good. So let's just get that ranking up. He doesn't have any link slots, but for the future, I guess. Yeah, I wonder how elemental Force might selection. be actually really useful. Do you have any? Do you have any other elemental Welcome. materia we could buy? The market for materia? Uh, you do not. Okay. Come back hey, oh well. <laughs> Item shop. Looking to spice up your wardrobe with some accessories? Uh, no. It turns out <laughs> you have nothing. Items go great with beach Uh, what's this? Beachwear exchange booth? Right, but I need the tickets for that. Uh, okay, so we got... This is one of them. Card Carnival. And... I guess the main scenario is to get here eventually, but we can't go there yet. And Pirate's Rampage. Okay. Uh, should we go to Pirate's Rampage? Card Carnival is some Queen's Blood thing, I assume. We should take one of these. What is? Who wants to go on a oh, hey Barrett. Rampage. Wait, is Barrett our partner? Hey, got a ticket for this thing called Costa del Amor. Don't know what it is, but it's happening here. So, it's a special event for uh, meeting new people. <laughs> yeah, Looks love to meet like new people like Barrett. Brand new character. Wait, what? Why do you care about meeting new people? 
for the companion cards. What do we have here? Looks like it's right up my alley. Whoa, hold on there. You use firearms for a living, don't you? Sorry, but I can't allow you to play this game. Bruh. Amateurs only. That's our policy. Oh, it is, is it? Why didn't you speak up sooner? I don't see any signs either. True. This is false advertising. You know that? I'll do it. <sighs> Just don't embarrass us. Pirates Rampage Brigantine. Forgo swashbuckling in favor of sharpshooting as you aim to hit the fiendish targets and earn a high score. Oh, Christ. Right trigger to fire, left stick to aim, square to switch aim and fire controls? What does that mean? Switch aim and fire controls, as in right trigger is now aim and left stick is now fire? What? That doesn't make any sense. What are you talking about? Toggle aim speed and adaptive triggers. Okay, sure. Uh, 10,000 is what we need. 13 for a ruby, 15 for time materia. Ooh. So we definitely want to aim for 15. Alright, man. Blast him in the next week. Alright. Oh god, there was a gold one there. Oh, this is tricky, isn't it? Two thousand five hundred, and there's only four rounds. That would take me to ten thousand exactly. Which is what you need for the fucking basic one, but you need you need 15k, was it for? Ah! Oh my god, so hard to hit. Oh my god, I'm getting exactly 2,500 per round. I'm only barely gonna hit the base fucking win condition. Oh Christ. Oh, you have to hit these multiple times. Oh, that one just was worth more points for a brief moment. Like that. That's what I like to see. No. No! Now that was a close. Well, we got more than 2,500 that time. This is really hard. How the fuck are you supposed to get 15,000 points? What? How did that not hit? You're out of your mind. Well, we got 12,200, which isn't even enough for the second rank. God damn. That's so hard. How the fuck do you get 15,000? 15,000? That's insane. I'm never getting that time material. The greatest, sure, but we'll take what we can get. Well done, gentlemen. With play like that, you must have known each other for years. What do you mean? The what shooting and the, what the fuck are you talking about? We've played like that. You must have known each other for years. This was a one-player thing. <laughs> you hear that? You literally told home. Barrett he couldn't compete. It's his job, the so what do you side. mean? With play like that, you must have known oh, each other for years. That implies that he Just was part of it. That for a minute and take the compliment. I promise I won't tell. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm off to enjoy the beach. Don't leave me hanging too long here. Do we try this again? Do we try this again? This fucking thing. Anything in here? Nada. Anything hiding down the end? 
Nah. Oh, let's give it one more go. This be pirates Let's give it one more go. Surely I can at least get 13,000. Surely. Surely. Alright, 3,350. That's almost a thousand better than the first time. There was more here, right? Oh, almost got that one. That would have been good. Okay, 5,700. That was not so good. Come on, I need to get at least 13,000. I've got to get at least rank 2, surely. Oh god, this is the mash up. Possible. We need to get fucking like we need to get 3k, a bit more than 3k. Fourteen thousand three hundred. We okay. We actually came close to fifteen k that time. Oh man, we'd need seven hundred more points. How could I have got seven hundred more points? How could I have managed that? Hit a couple more golds. Hit a couple more of the flying ones. Ah, it's possible, but I think I'd have to take a few more goes to do it. I don't want to waste everyone's time. I was seven hundred points off, man. It is, I really feel like I could do it, but I feel like I'd need a few more goes to do it, and it would take the rest of the episode probably. And I don't want to fucking oh, waste everyone's time like that, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it there. But I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I could do it. Am I coping? Let me know in the comments. Do you think I could do it or nah? We were only 700 off, man. It was pretty close. It's Queen's blood with a twist. Oh no, you're my partner for this? Hey there, what's up? Oh, let me guess. Searching for more. You partner? should jump in the oh, sea. Yeah. <laughs> and now you found her. Just so you know, the rules are different for this event. Instead of the usual one on one format, we have to play in teams, which is why I'm glad you're here. I'm not glad I'm sure you're this here. Come as a shock, but I didn't sign up to lose. With you on my team, though, I doubt I'll Bro, have why did they create this about. character? Between the two of us, there's no Why did they create this team. just sort of luck, shitty character? I don't want to spend time with this character. Unlike the one-on-one -on -one format of most Queen's Blood matches, Costa de la Mort allows players to compete in pairs. The house provides the cards, while you provide the cunning in these puzzles designed to test your acumen. Complete three challenges to win. All right. Puzzles, huh? Uh, your partner Regina has already completed this challenge. If you complete it as well, the two of you will proceed. What's the point in this being like a, oh yes, you must find your partner and do this co-op if it's just like, no, she's actually already done it. And now she's just waiting for you to do it. <laughs> like, that's weird. You get, you get cards for these? Uh, I don't know about those two, but these ones, this one says Fleetwing, first time reward Fleetwing, okay. Bom, 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 bom. Bom, bom, bom. Don't lose focus. You hear me? 
Uh, right, okay, so there's like specific positions on the board and stuff. I see, I see. Okay, well, there's no two cost, so we have to use a one cost first to create two cost spaces. Uh, so here, I guess. Huh. Interesting. Uh, and then that would create. Uh, do that, and then I win that lane, and then I do this, and I win that lane. that's not bad. Cool. Easy. Puzzle. More like easy. Got him. Bam, 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 bam. Right, and we get that card. Cool, cool. Next. Come on, get him where it hurts. Okay, so this is the one that's buffing all the other spaces, right? Oh, <laughs> we got the fat chocobo. Uh, wait, there is nowhere else to play. These cards don't have a pawn in them. Okay, well, there's no way we're going to be able to get three on another square. So this has to go here, right? Well, we'll to open up the other squares. So this one is the one that raises the power by one for each other enhanced allied cards. So these all need to go on enhanced spaces. Posh Chocobo. When you win the lane, receive a score of a score bonus of three. Huh. That's interesting. So how do I... Hmm. Brain engage. I'm looking at these cards and I'm seeing that... Like, we can't play anywhere in the middle lane. So we can't win the middle lane. So we'd have to win top and bottom. So, but the top... Like, even with the fat Chocobo down with his plus two, we're only at seven points. So we'd need another card at the bottom row. Either you or you. Either way, I'd get enough points, if I put it in the bottom corner, I would beat nine. But then I wouldn't beat... I wouldn't beat nine up top with the other one. So how the fuck? I don't... Hmm. How much... How many points would he get? He's got... He'd get 16 points for winning top and middle. Can I get higher than 16 points? Keep that up and you'll do fine. Just by being here, that would be 14, but then I get the plus 3 for winning the lane, so 15, 16, 17. Huh. Didn't know you had it in. So that's it, right? So I, I lose the top and middle, but because I win bottom and because I have the post chocobo, I win overall. That's cheeky. That is very cheeky. I, was, I just couldn't see another way to win there, because it was like. You didn't have enough points to, to... If you put another card in the bottom right to have enough points to win the bottom lane, then you, there was no way of winning the top lane. So it's just like, well, okay, there has to be another answer here then. Moogle Trio reward for this one. Finish him off. What is Moogle... When played, add both Moogle Mage and Moogle Bard to your hand. Okay. Uh... Does it, hmm, okay, where would I play this? I guess here to create more spaces? Playing it pretty safe, I see. Uh, when played, lower the power of enemy cards on affected tiles by four. Raise the power of allied cards on affected tiles by two while this card is in play. Okay, so I'd wanna, and that's diagonally, okay, so this has to go in the top lane. And if I'm lowering the power, I guess I'd want to do there. Keep that up and you'll be fine. And if I'm raising the power of allied cards, then I'd want to play this here. Could have done worse, that's for sure. And I'd want to play this here to boost those. No, that's not bad. So now I'm winning that lane, and then I just want to play this here to win this lane. Huh. 
Didn't know you had it in you. Nice. These are pretty fun. Little challenges. Bum, bum, ba, da, bum. It's interesting. It's, that's quite a powerful card, but at the same time, it's like it's also using three spaces. Like, it takes up three spaces on the board to do what it does. Congratulations. And you're, you're only going sure to be taking between style. six and nine spaces in total. You like. So it's using Thanks somewhere between a third and a half of your total board spaces to do those Moogle buffs. That's a funny way of asking for a favor. I will never ask you for anything <laughs> except to go away. I appreciate the sentiment, but I don't play matches I already know I'm going to win. Would much rather spend that time upping my game. Mm. Sadly, I don't meet many people who can teach me much. Oh, of course you don't. Oh, I did run You're far too up yourself. Anyway, I'm sure we'll see each other around sometime. Good luck. What a terrible character, oh dude. My. Shot you down. <laughs> I have a strong dislike for her. Don't worry about it. She's so up herself. You completed every easy rank card puzzle. I hope you have a great match. You got more for me? Oh boy, yeah you do. And they all give cards as well. This one doesn't. Power down practice. Practice using Archdragon's skill to enfeeble your opponent's card. Sure. Why does this? Why is this the only one that not doesn't give a reward? Archdragon's skill is lower the power of enemy cards on affected tiles by three, and it's the one next to them. So we just want to destroy these to get rid of the power increase. And then just win that lane. Easy. Ba da bum, ba da bum. All right. Uh, okay, we get cards with the rest of them. Show me what you got. I like what you got. Okay, we only have the top row available. So, uh, that one, this has to be played in the top row. To raise the power of allied cards in the bottom row, sure. So we need to take over the bottom row. So this needs to be played either top left or the one next to it. Raise the power of allied cards on affected tiles by two, and that affects the one below it. This gives more spaces. Okay, so for this to work, it has to be either... Oh, no. There's the one next to it. So it has to be either here or here. But then if we're using the Spearhawks to buff ones directly below us, then I guess that needs to go there. And then my Quetzalcoatl would go on the bottom row? Yeah, because the Spearhawk would buff it, and it has the plus three from the Cactor, so it... Yeah. So, okay, I've got it, I've got it. So this would go here, this would go here, this would go underneath it, and then underneath it again. Yeah, easy. Bro, do you make any hard challenges? <laughs> I'm the girl with pink hair. Oh, it's so easy. <laughs> Next up. Bom, 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 bom. Alright, not many fucking spaces to play with here. Uh, what do you do? When played, add Mandragora minion to your hand. Okay. They've got debuffs on the field, so these, these would just die in those places. Um, when allied cards are played from hand, raise this card's power by one. Huh. When allied cards are played from hand, raise this card's power by one. So I want to get these on the board early. 
They cost three, though. But I want to get these on the board as soon as possible so that they get the biggest buffs possible by playing the rest. When played, add Mandragora minion to your hand. And a regular soldier boy. Okay, so... I guess this is a space management thing, right? So these will add a minion to my hand, but then I won't have anywhere to play it. So I need to play these on the on the minus one tiles so that they die and create space for the next thing. Otherwise, I won't have room for everything. So these need to go... These need to go on the board as soon as possible, but I don't have anywhere to play them yet. So I have to create space first. These both point right and down. So I think I'd play this first here. To create two threes, right? So now I can play these. And I play those first. And now they'll be buffing each other every time one of these goes in. And they die and create a new space and die and create a new space. And die and create a new space. Yeah, that's a win. And die and create a new space. Easy money. Now we get him. Lovely. Last one. A kingly clash. So kingly. Alright. Oh boy, that's a lot of cards. Okay, you have no ability to just create spaces. Tombri King. This is what your this is what the challenge is named after. When allied cards are destroyed. When allied cards are destroyed, raise this card's power by two. Okay, so we need to buff the shit out of this. Lower the power of allied and enemy cards and affected tiles by one while this is in place. We'll use this to destroy our own stuff to buff this then. When played, lower the power of allied and enemy cards on affected tiles by three. Allied and enemy cards. So you play this in the middle. No, you don't. You play this at the top or bottom. You'd play it in the middle if, it, if the board was five squares, but it's not. So you have to play it top or bottom. And you can't play it there because it won't actually kill it. So you're playing it there to destroy your own card. What does this card do? When destroyed, lower the power of allied and enemy cards on affected tiles by three. Okay, so that would get you even more debuffs. Okay, so that's four. So you need to destroy both of these to destroy the middle one. But it also destroys the thing next to it. All right. Uh... So where would I play the Tombri King? It needs two costs to go, but these spaces, these two spaces get destroyed. So the Tombri King can't be played there. But I want him on the board when stuff is getting destroyed, so that he's getting the buff. Right. So I play these here, so now the Tombri King can go here or here. Does it matter? It probably matters. Why would it matter? Okay, so these two are going top and bottom, so the Mind Flayer would go... My player would go there or there. I guess if my player does my are we looking to lower their power by one at the end? Is that probably that's what it is? Because stuff here wouldn't die from it. I think. Well, I think we play that at the end. So I think you go here. And then we blow everything up with these. Is 
that really going to go over plus 13? I need to... Oh, I know what I... I played them the wrong way around. I thought we were using Mind Flayer to lower their power at the end of the game, but we're not. We're using Mind Flayer to blow up our own things in the corner. That's what we're doing. God damn it. Oh, okay. This was definitely the hardest one. This was definitely the hardest one, but I had it right aside from that. So I go, you there. I go, you there. I go, you in the middle. I go, you up top. I go you down bottom. And then I mind flare the both of them. And then we win with 15, 16 points to their 14. The single lane win. Ba-dum bum ba -da bum Cool. And that is Card Carnival complete. Very nice. Now what? Beach Row Exchange Booth? Right, we completed both the things, so... We can turn in our tickets. Uh, who is it? Someone up here? Hang loose. Hang loose. Got any companion cards? You can exchange them for outfits here. I sure do. Wild Surf or Ocean Chocobo. We can get both, right? Yeah. Slip into your beachwear at one of the changing booths set up at convenient locations around town, such as the entrance to the beach or near Johnny's Seaside Inn. Have a wonderful day. Like right here. Whoa. Let's have a look. It's probably going to be the topless variant. Get fully in that beach vibe. Nice. Very nice. That's very beachy. Love that. Go to the beach once you are ready. How do we get into it? Just down here, changing booth. The game might help you think. Ghost of Del Horse would be great for this. No time for game. Tour Ghost of Del Sol in style with our really. Does it show up in the menu? <laughs> That's great. <laughs> do be showing up in the menu. All right, cool. I just had to step away for a second. Sorry. <laughs> that uh, that doesn't usually happen during Looks recordings, like you're more but. Than uh, ready to enjoy the beach. Would you like to head on down there? Yes, I'm ready to head to the beach. Barrett's already down there, very nice. <laughs> I want that one. Maybe later. <gasps> What's with them? Oh, <laughs> I thought they were talking about me and fucking Barrett for a second. Hey, what's up? How did the black robe dudes too. even get on the beach when there's yeah. a dude like screening Just everyone help but feel sorry for <laughs> and making sure you can't come down here if you haven't got the right beachwear? But we treat them like monsters all the same. You're freaking everyone out. For real. Take a hike. For real. Hey, you leave them alone. <laughs> It's interesting to me that they're getting the black robe dudes are getting so much focus in this game when we're not going to see the results of it 
until part three. We're not going to see what... Like, we're, we're following them, and it's like, oh, where are they going? What are they doing? What, what's going on with them? And it's like... We're not gonna we're not gonna see the end result of Thanks that, the whirlwind well. maze. I'll only be a sec. Until the final game. Take so it's a lot Wait, what? Uh, Who's she talking to again? The water won't turn off. <laughs> Johnny sure found himself a real fixer upper. Kinda reminds me of home. Are you almost done? It's not Zack, is it? It doesn't Hera? sound like Zack, right? Am I crazy? That's not Zack. Is it? Are you alright? Hello? What are you holding? Is that um, your material? What color would you say this is? I mean it should be white, but it's that's clear. That's a clear material, not a white material. Thing is, it used to be white. Huh. Was that that wasn't a plot point in the original, right? It was back in It didn't Midgar. lose its colour in the original. The one that she dropped in the alt timeline at the start of the game, when Zack rescued her from the helicopter, and then it, she dropped it on the on the ground. That one was white, right? That one was coloured in. That was white. This one is clear. What does that mean? The whispers. They took all that from mine. These memories were precious. Yes. Extremely. Is that it? It's just because the whispers took her memories, so it cleared out. Weren't you headed to the beach? Some time with Tifa might lift your spirits. Seeing Tifa in a bikini always lifts my spirits. Yeah. Hmm, interesting. But who was she talking to? Was it just like... I don't know. Hmm. Questions, questions. Cloud has left the party. It is now Aerith and Red time. Nice. Wait, what are we doing in Cloud's room? We have our own rooms. I guess I guess they said the boys are all bunking together, so she's in Red's room, I suppose. All right, let's go pick up Tifa. Would be ill -advised. I insist you take Tifa. Indeed. Tifa, you there? 